This is Hobbit of Hobbit and Nobbin. Um, I'm really excited about this video because I'm really proud of this project. Um, in this video, what I wanna do is um, show you and walk you through a trailer that I made for my inflatable boat. It's an Intex Mariner 4. Uh, I've, I've made another video and posted that um, where I, I did a review of the boat, talked about pros and cons, and sort of walked through all the modifications and things that I did to the boat. Um, if you're interested in that, check out our uh, YouTube channel uh, and our blog, hobbitnobbin.com. Um, you can check out other projects that we've had and get more details and pictures about the boat and what I did. Um, but for this video specifically, um, I just wanna talk about this trailer because I think it's awesome. Um, but I would also say check out our blog because I plan to, I drew out some really detailed, um, basically like schematics uh, and a diagram of exactly how to build this thing, the parts and everything that you need and how to do it. Um, and I'm gonna try to upload those to the site um, in a PDF form so you can just print those out and use them if you need to. Um, I legitimately thought about trying to like see if I could patent this thing. Um, but then I just thought, you know what? There's too many people out there trying to get a boat to the water and they need our help. So, um, you're welcome. Um, just a few quick, uh, overview points. First, um, I'm certain there are better ways to do this. <coughs> um, I looked for hours and hours, maybe days, trying to figure out if somebody had done this before and I couldn't find anything. The closest thing I could find was a hand dolly for like a canoe. And that's really sort of where this whole idea was born is sort of modifying that initial concept of building a hand cart for, for a canoe or a smaller vessel and modifying it to the point where I could actually hook this thing up to my truck and move my boat from a campsite to water. And sort of along those lines, for the, you know, smart arse out there who um, wants to point out all the, you know, potential flaws in this thing, for one, I would say I'm a lawyer, so I've thought about a lot of problems that might arise from this thing, okay? Um, two, the intended purpose of this trailer, disclaimer, um, is not for highway use or high speed use, period. So do not try to do this and pull this thing behind your truck down the highway. That would be patently absurd. Um, my only goal was so that I could pack up my boat and all the, the different you know aspects of it, the, the boxes and floor and, and other things that I made for this thing get to a campsite, uh, put it all together, load it onto a trailer, and travel less than, you know, a mile, two miles maybe at a very low rate of speed um, and, and launch the boat into the water without having to get to the boat ramp, um, put everything together, inflate the boat, put all the floor and all that in, and then try to carry it to the water. Because once I um, load the boat down with all the different things that I built, the battery boxes, the seats, the floor, everything, um, it's really heavy. So trying to pick it up and my brother and I carry it to the water would have been one, treacherous, probably. We would have injured ourselves. And two, I probably would have torn the boat up because the seams are not intended to you know, carry that kind of weight. So the, the goal of this thing was literally just to get it to the water and uh, not have to carry everything down to the water piece by piece. So just a disclaimer. Um, in terms of cost, um, because I was able to use a bunch of stuff that I had in my garage, just piece this thing together, um, this trailer cost me less than $100 to make. And I can fit everything into the back of my truck easily. Some thinking and skill required, but I can still fit it in the back of the truck. And I'll post a picture you can go to our website and see a lot more pictures of this thing and the step-by-step -step process of me building it um, if you want more information. But for the purpose of this video, 
I just want to kind of go over um, the different aspects of it. Um, it's made in four pieces, so I'm going to cover each one. The thought process behind it, cost, time to build, and, uh, and assemble it and show you what it looks like so you can have a good idea. And if you want more information, you can go to our website. And uh, like I said, I'm going to post the diagram that I drew. And um, you should be able to build it on your own, or at least that's my hope, after you watch the video and then check out the drawings that I made. So, like I said, this trailer was built with the, in, with the intent of carrying um, the Intex Mariner 4. It is a about 12 feet long and about four and a half ish feet wide. The, um, my goal was to be able to support the weight of the boat with everything that I built to put inside of it and um, to do so without worrying about, you know, the structure of the trailer breaking or something like that, something tragic on the way to the water and to prevent me from having to carry it by hand. So I built it in four sections and the really three sections are super easy to build and I'll just walk over those right now with, um, or I'll cover them right now, just sitting here because they're just pretty small. Um, the first is, is the tongue of the trailer. Um, it's like this. And it has a neck on it. And just as an aside, I built this out of inch and a half PVC and um, it's the Charlotte PVC it's pretty thick and uh, it has a lot more tensile strength than you would think um, all of these pieces are connected with um, pins like this um, you can get a pack of these at Harbor Freight with all different sizes for I think around $10. Um, even if you don't build this trailer, I think it's probably worth it to go to Harbor Freight and get the uh, the set with all these pens just because uh, there's so many different uses for these if you do any DIY type stuff. Uh, these things are awesome. So that's kind of the crux of how these things connect. Um, as far as how I attach it to the trailer, um, that might have to be a separate video, but if you go to our website, I'll post some pictures of, of how I hooked it up. But basically what I did was um, I had this sort of neck piece for the trailer and I had a cap and I had this big, huge eye bolt and I took this uh, cap and I drilled a hole in the top and then um, I put this eye bolt in the, in the cap and then I put a washer and a lock nut inside and tighten that down really tight. And then I glued the cap onto the neck. Um, and it was awesome. <laughs> um, another thing I would note is, you'll see here, I put a, uh, and this is just a twist tie, but I put another eye bolt right here. Um, and I did that just so I could tie off the boat once I loaded it onto the uh, onto the trailer. Um, you'll want to have some different tie-off points, and so I literally just took a drill bit, um, drilled through the PVC, and I attached this eye bolt with a, a nut and washer, and it, it worked perfectly. So that's that. Um, the sort of working from the tongue down. Um, the next piece I made was this. Um, and I made this just sort of as the, uh, I don't even know what to call it. I'm just gonna call it sort of like the, the, uh, the end cap, I guess, to the trailer where the, the boat comes up on the trailer and rests right here. And this is usually, this is used just kind of as a, like a stopping point. And I also have pins in both sides uh, well, I took it out to show you, but it's it's here um, that attach this to the frame of the trailer. Um, and if you're wondering, um, I wrapped this PVC with pipe insulation. It's like two inch pipe insulation. 
Um, it's really, really cheap at Walmart or Lowe's or anywhere. Um, and I just use zip ties to attach it. And you can see my main concern was making sure that I covered these joints because it can, it can be kind of sharp. Um, and so I just wanted to take precautions and make sure I protected the, uh, the boat from any kind of puncture or something like that. So that's this piece. The next piece was um, when I first put the boat onto the trailer, um, I realized I probably needed something in the middle um, <coughs> that was wide, that would support the, uh, the main tubes of the boat and keep it from like sagging down over the sides. So what I did was um, I made this section here And I made it with this V um, with a, a 45. Um, and I did that just to, just to give some kind of support in the middle of the boat for the keel um, so that there was something there in between the two main uh, poles in the structure of the, of the trailer. Um, you can't really tell, and you'll be able to tell when I put it all together, but um, I used T's here. And when I when I cemented these into the uh, into the pipe, I did so sort of at a a little bit of an, an upward angle, um, accounting for when the weight of the boat and everything that was in it um, started to put pressure on this, that it it might you know uh, give a little bit, and then if it did, it would then be level. So um, take that into account when you're putting this together is that um, these are slightly at an angle. Now it makes it a little more difficult to store and all that because it's all these awkward angles. Um, but I think that's important. The other thing is, is um, I did the same thing that I did on the tongue. Um, one of the things I was concerned about is how do I secure the boat to this trailer? So what I did is on the ends, I took these caps and I just took some, you know, three eighths inch or whatever this is. I don't even know what it is. Um, you can buy like a, a hundred foot roll of this at Walmart for like seven dollars. Um, I just cut some lengths, drilled a hole in the cap, um, put the rope through, um, tied a, a double overhand or any kind of you know solid knot, tightened it up, and then um, tied a. Uh, a knot here on the end just to give me a little loop and um, in this way I can use these they kind of wrap up around the sides of the boat and then I can use bungees or rope or tie this thing off and uh, I used it for four days in a row um, no problems whatsoever solid as a rock so that's this piece and um, sort of the the grand finale is, and the, and the main part of the trailer is the sort of the, the axle and the wheels and the back of the trailer. And so um, that's gonna take a little more detail. So what I'll do is I'll show you what I did, um, give you an idea of what it looks like without everything together, and then I'll put it all together and um, kind of walk through um, how it works. So this is the main part of the trailer. All right. Um, and it looks pretty complicated, uh, but it really isn't. And if you check out the drawings on our website, uh, that, that I'll post as soon as I can, um, you'll see that it's really not very difficult. The only thing that is semi difficult is, um, when you build this, you have to build sort of one side at a time. And you obviously have to make sure that they're identical when you make the other side. Um, otherwise it's gonna be all jacked up. So um, I knew this was gonna have to be pretty substantial. And so um, I wanted to make sure that it could support weight. And this thing is absolutely solid as a rock. And I think this, aspect is 
um, where I decided to kind of deviate from what you might find on the internet for a hand cart for a canoe because usually when people make these they make this part only and they secure the canoe to this and then they just hold the end of the canoe and walk it down to the water and that's that's fine if that's what you want to do um, but I did not want to do that because this boat is going to be it is it was and is very heavy and I didn't want to put pressure on those seams so I didn't make the entire thing as you'll see here uh, those are um, through metal pipe I, that's sort of the main structure I knew I would need something that uh, was a little stronger because of how long the trailer is um, but I made that or that's actually top rail for a chain link fence um, or one and a half inch top rail um, you can buy like 10 foot sections of that at any home improvement store uh, for really cheap and um, and it worked unbelievably well so a few things I would note about this the main base is one um, these are not these are obviously not wheels intended to be uh, driven at a high rate of speed all right I got these at Harbor Freight they were like $6.99 a piece um, but they're like they're rated for 300 pounds per tire and I figured that was more than sufficient for my purpose um, I could have gone bigger or maybe gone with a wheel that was like a solid rubber wheel and not inflatable um, but I'll tell you, we had this thing loaded down and there was no give in these tires whatsoever. So um, I think they wor worked really well. Now you'll notice here at the end too, that I kind of made these go at like a 45 degree. Um, and I did that, I could have just gone straight, just made those straight. Um, but I decided to go with a 45 because uh, the same reason why um, I created the middle piece just to give a little more support around the, the uh, end of the boat because I knew that I would have a seat and the motor and I didn't want the motor, you know, flopping around everywhere. So I decided to do that. And then I did the same thing that I just described um, here with the, the rope um, just to give me some like, you know, tying points. And then similarly, um, I just put these eye bolts here uh, on the on the back of the trailer um, and those gave me a, just you know an additional tie off point so um, I felt really good about um, being able to secure the boat on the trailer and it didn't move around at all um, one last thing I would note is um, I mean I, I probably need to make a totally separate video on how I did the axle but what I did was, and you can't really tell, but this is a a cap that I put inside of this T, and it has a one inch uh, opening. And I made this um, the axle out of a five eighths inch threaded rod, and you can cut it down to size with a hacksaw. Really easy, um, wasn't a big deal. Um, but make sure to smooth out the edges with a. Uh, with a file um, so that you don't tear up the uh, the nut when you try to put it on. But in the detailed drawings that I have, um, there's literally a diagram on how to secure these wheels in the appropriate order for, you know, washer, lock washer, regular nut, washer, and then a washer and a lock nut. Um, I had to buy all like this nut separately at Lowe's, but you can find that stuff really easily and it's it's pretty inexpensive um but one thing that i'll say is i was concerned about the axle you know like bending um because of the weight so what i did was uh i put that five eighths five eighths threaded rod through some conduit that's like an inch in diameter and then i put that inside of a one inch uh PVC pipe, and then I put all of that into the one and a half inch uh, cross piece here, and there was no give at all whatsoever. Um, so I would recommend doing something like that to make sure that your axle is strong enough for the weight. Lastly, um, because I have this threaded rod inside of an enclosed pipe, 
and that this would be submerged in water when I back this thing down. And I need to paint it just so it doesn't look so uh, shoddy. But um, to be honest, like I told my brother, I kind of like the fact that it looks so bad because um, it it makes people look at it and go like, what in the world? Um, so it, in that regard, I think it's kind of cool to just leave it the way it is, but I'll probably paint it at some point. But one thing I wanted to say is knowing that this thing would be uh, collecting water, what I did is I drilled holes along here and then along the bottom of this axle piece. And I did that so that when I put the trailer in the water, um, as I as I left the water, that any any water that accumulated inside the pipe would drain out, and I wouldn't have to worry about the metal inside of here for the axle rusting or eroding or whatever. And it still might to some extent, but at least I won't have just like collecting water in these um, in these pipes. So I think that's something simple. Um, that you know you might overlook, but it's something I think is important uh, to take into account. So what I'll do now is I will uh, I'm just gonna put this all together and uh, and then I will um, show you what it looks like. All right, I just got done um, putting this thing all together. I didn't uh, pin in I didn't put the pins uh, in the in the trailer entirely. I uh, just put a few here and there just so it didn't. Uh, come apart while I was talking about it, but it took me, uh, by myself, it took me maybe a minute and a half or so uh, to put together. Um, you can see here, uh, I've got the main uh, base with the wheels, and then we have this middle support, um, and just to give you an idea of the angle, um, you can see where those uh, side supports stick out a little bit uh, and they're kind of at an angle. Um, and these are the same way um, with the intent that, you know, with some weight that it might, uh, they might give a little bit. And so that way, even if it does, it's still level. And then you've got the um, sort of the ramp piece here at the front um, where the front of the boat will uh, rest and be secured. And, um, and these pin in on the sides. And while I'm thinking about it, if you decide to do this, one of the things that's really important um, is once you get this thing assembled and you drill all the holes and everything, um, you need to mark this thing really well. Um, if you don't, um, it can be really difficult to put, to get, put back together. Maybe not difficult, but um, it won't be nearly as easy as what I just did in like less than a minute. And just to give you an idea, um, so for like this piece right here, you can see where I have tape uh, on both sides. And I did that um, so that I can mark the holes really easily. And I know exactly where this piece goes on the pole. Um, and it's really easy for me to, uh, to put the pins in. And on both ends of the pole inside um, because you're, you're drilling holes horizontally. And so you wanna have the pipe rotated correctly. So what I did is once I put this together, um, I labeled the, the, the pipes with a Sharpie and I wrote a T um, on both sides on the top of the pipe so that I knew that that was the, the top. So I just rotate it around until it's in the right position. And um, and then under here, I also wrote an F so that I know top, front, and you know I can line it up correctly. I did the same thing on the back. Um, and you can see the tape there where I have the pins. Um, so I know exactly where uh, those pieces go in and where the holes are. And on the back of the pipe, or on, on that end, I wrote uh, back top, you know, or like B and a, and a T. So I knew um, which side of the pole goes where because there's holes in specific spots. Um, and then here is the tongue that I referenced earlier. 
So I actually have, um, and it's stored up right now, so I don't have it ready, readily available, but I actually made two um, tongue pieces. This is the one that I, that I can use if I hook it up to the truck. And then I also have one that's more of like a handle that I can use as a dolly if I decide to use the boat um, without putting the floor and the, the boxes and battery and all that stuff and it's not as heavy. I can just use it as a hand cart and take the boat down to the water. But for the purposes of this video, um, and because I think it's a lot cooler, um, this is the tongue, um, and you can attach this to the boat really easily, or to the uh, to the truck really easily. And here's a tie-off, um, like I described earlier. And just so that you have an idea of, um, of how I put this onto my truck. I'm going to grab the, um, the hitch really quick and just kind of walk through that so that you have a good idea. All right. So of course, uh, when I need it, I can't find it. Um, so I'll just improv, but here's the hitch that I used. And, um, I use this for all kinds of stuff, but I had a ball on here and I took it out. And so what I did was, um, I had this and I would put it like this, and then I had a big, um, like U uh, that's used for like a toe strap, and I, it's like a D ring, and it I would just put the pin through here, and and then through here, and that way the trailer could move back and forth really easily, uh, and that worked absolutely perfect. Um, you can buy those D rings, Home Depot, Lowe's, Harbor Freight. Um, and it worked perfect. I think I may try to come up with some kind of different um, hitch mechanism in the future. Um, but for now, this worked uh, perfectly. Um, like I said, I'm going to post some videos or some pictures um, of the trailer and how I put it all together step by step. Um, I'm putting this trailer hitch up real quick. Sorry. Um, and I'll share those um, in a blog post with the uh, the diagram that I drew of this thing. And I mean, it's really easy to put together um, and it worked perfectly. Um, it took me about a day to put together in the garage. And uh, I will say I'm pretty familiar or I've done a lot of PVC work and landscaping and stuff. So um, all of that wasn't that big of a deal, but um, I mean, I'm pretty proud of it. I think it's a neat project. All right, I um, just walked you through the uh, the inflatable boat trailer, uh, showed you all the different pieces, uh, gave you sort of an estimate of cost, time, energy, um, and a few things to consider. Like I said, um, you can go to our website, hobbitnobbin.com. Um, I'm gonna post a diagram of the drawings that I made. Um, and it's color coded, so you should be able to go to Lowe's or Home Depot or, or wherever and buy all the different PVC connections one time without having to go back, um, which is what I always end up having to do. But um, hopefully you should be able to put together an estimated uh, budget um, for what it might cost to do it and, um, and get a good materials list before you go based on the drawings. Um, I'm sure that you can modify this however you want um, in terms of height, strength, width, all that type of stuff. Um, and it would just be sort of common sense modifications if you if you choose to do that. But um, I think this is a really cool project. Um, I didn't see, I haven't seen anything like this online. I have seen hand carts um, for inflatable boats, but nothing like this that you could hook up to a, to a truck. Maybe that's because people aren't as stupid as I am. Uh, <laughs> and willing to hook something like this up to my uh, truck. But what I will say is, is that um, it worked perfectly. Um, it is kind of difficult to back up if the boat isn't on the trailer. So honestly, what we ended up doing sometimes is we would unhook the trailer, walk it down to the boat ramp, load the boat, and my brother and I would just pull the boat up out of the water on the trailer and walk it over to the truck, hook it up, and then take it straight to the campsite. Um, I can't tell you how many people, uh, were standing around the truck, uh, at the boat ramp, looking at this thing and asking, you know, how in the world we made it. And, you know, 
what we were thinking. Um, we got a lot of weird looks, but uh, I'll tell you that it gave me a, a, a unique joy to see my $100 PVC boat trailer um, in a line of, you know, thousand five thousand dollar boat trailers all in a row uh, and uh and i'll post a picture of that because it's just sort of comical to look at but uh i think this is a great solution it's really easy uh i think you could do this regardless of your skill level or experience with you know diy projects um it doesn't take any time to do and uh and it's really convenient you can pack it up in your truck take it with you Put it all together and you got a boat trailer so um if you got a, a comment or you want to know something specifically about the uh the trailer or you know want some additional information um uh, let me know send us an email at hobbit and hobbit and nobbin at gmail.com and uh, i'll try my best to get you an answer um check us out on our social media pages uh check out our blog Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We try to post new content and projects like this all the time as, as much as we can. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you uh, you get to make a boat trailer and take it out. If you do, send us a picture and let me know. Uh, thanks for watching.